Cats. In local news, the BHS marching band placed second at Sterling Price Day last Saturday. The marching Wildcats competed against three other bands. Here's what Miss Bishop had to say about their achievement. So we're here with Miss Bishop, the band director. How do you feel about winning second place at Sterling Price? It was really exciting. Um, the band's been working really hard this year to, to better ourselves as a group, and I think that all of their hard work is finally just paying off. Are you guys excited for Pecan Festival? Absolutely. And we also have Carrollton Band Day on the 28th and CMU Band Day on the 12th, which we're also really excited to go to. Well, we're excited to watch you guys. Good luck. Thank you. Miss Crawfell and her ag class attended Bradford Field Day on Tuesday. We see how Ty Junkins felt about the trip. But here's what Miss Crawfell had to say. So we're here with Miss Crawfell. Um, you guys went to Bradford Field Day on Tuesday. How was the trip and what did students learn on this trip? Yeah, so the trip was a really great experience. We take Ag 1 and Ag 2 students who are studying about animal and plant systems. And so when we went to Bradford, they have a bunch of different educational booths that students can go to related to careers in agriculture. Um, so for example, we went to a booth where the kids learned about honeybees and they got to taste honey. Um, we learned about GMOs and we also got to stick, they got to stick their arms in a fistulated cow to learn about the digestive system process. So I kind of gave students an opportunity to look at some things that they might be interested in in the future and just try something new. Sounds fun. Thank you. FBLA attended Bush Stadium for Career Day. The students had the opportunity to watch a Cardinals game while learning more about careers in the sports industry. Mr. Singleton told us all about their day in St. Louis. We're here with Mr. Singleton. You guys went to Career Day on Wednesday. How was that trip? It was a really good trip. Uh, we took 43 students with us to Bush Stadium and we watched a Cardinals game. Uh, before the Cardinals game started, we met with their general manager, head of marketing, um, a couple professors from Lindenwood College, and students were able to hear from them and see what sports marketing looks like and what their choices are when it comes to sports marketing. So this was a very beneficial trip for the FBLA. They also had a chance to meet with colleges after that while they were eating their free hot dog, chips, and drink. And then we enjoyed seven innings of baseball and we headed back. So it was a good overall trip. The STEM lab is under full swing. We wanted to give you a behind the scenes look at what we do here in STEM. Welcome to my crib. Come on in. So three or four minutes. This is where all the magic happens. Four and a half this is the green screen that's behind us where we can display all of our images right up behind us. Yeah. Everything you see is right through the screen screen. If you look behind us, so where our camera goes, this is our teleprompter with all our lights, so we don't look crusty. If you come on around here... Even though you still do. <laughs> this is where all the behind-the-scenes magic happens. As you can see, we have our program pulled up. We were able to switch cameras, put backgrounds behind us, all that stuff, as Kobe's messing up right now. <laughs> Over here, this is our planning table. We decide what we want to do, how we're going to do it. We write our stories, make all of our broadcasting decisions. This is our little storage room for the STEM class. We have some more lights and another green screen. Uh, and uh, here's our STEM. That's all for local news. I'm Madison Dickerson, and I'll see you next week. Now for Wyatt with the weather. Thank you, Madison. This week's weather, Monday, will have a high... A 78, a low of 61. A Tuesday will be a 20% chance of rain, cloudy, high of 81, low of 66. Wednesday, 40% chance of rain, scattered thunderstorms, high of 77, low of 58. Thursday, cloudy, high of 79, low of 66. Friday, 40% chance of rain, high of 82, low of 62. And this weekend, you will be looking for in the 80s on high, and in the low will be 63 steady and 40% 40 40 chance of rain on both days. Hello, I am Michael Ostman and today we will be saying happy birthday to the following people. On September 23rd is Cole Richardson, Paxton Barnett, and Lacey Kinderson. And on September 24th is Sandy DeLashmit. On September 26th is Chloe Llewellyn and Aureli Gonzalez. On September 27th is Jackson and Sophia Littleton. I asked Chloe how she was going to celebrate her 18th birthday. Okay, Chloe. Since your birthday is this week, how do you plan on celebrating? 
I plan on celebrating. Um, I'm gonna go out and buy me a lottery ticket and uh, see if I win. What is up, guys? My name is Kobe, and today I will show you how to be making 90s. All right, so let's get right into it. First, <clears throat> the way I do it, you just start like this, and you go here. I oh, messed up. <laughs> Don't do that. Here, here, jump, and then like that. Here, here, there. Wall, wall, jump. That, that, jump. All right. Let's try to speak. Let's try this again. Thank you, Kobe. This week in history, on September 24, 2007, The Big Bang Theory was created by Chuck Lorre and Bill Pratty, and it premiered on CBS. On September 25, 2007, the first ever woman graduates from the U.S. Marines Infantry Officer Course. <laughs> on September 27, 1908, Henry Ford's first Model T automobile leaves a plant in Detroit, Michigan for the very first time. And now to Jacob with the sports. Patrick Mahomes helped our Chiefs with a great win against Oakland. He threw four touchdowns and the final score was 27 to 10. This weekend they will play the Lions. Good luck, Chiefs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jacob. In trending this week, he doesn't want to share anymore. Woman blasts her fiancé for installing a chocolate safe in the fridge to stop her from eating all the snacks. Her fierce post was met by ridicule from over 47,000 people on social media who commented on how wonderful the idea was. On Tuesday, Merriam-Webster added more than 530 new words and definitions to its over-expanding dictionary. Some of the words, such as vacay, a shortening of vacation, sesh, an abbreviation for session, and inspo, a briefer form of inspiration, reflect the way in which Internet slang is increasingly becoming incorporated into daily speech. But there's at least one new entry that's long overdue, dad jokes. Speaking of dad jokes, my husband is really mad at the fact that I have no sense of direction, so I packed up my stuff and write. I love dry erase boards. They're remarkable. Talk about a horse of another color. A baby zebra with a dark coat and white polka dots have been spotted in one of Kenya's natural reserves. That's all with Trending. I'll see you next week. Okay, do you eat your Pop-Tarts cold or do you warm them up? Warm them up. Warm them up. Warm them up. Do you eat your Pop-Tarts cold or do you warm them up? Definitely cold. You warm them up? <laughs> Eat them cold. Do you eat your pop tarts cold or do you warm them up? Why warm them up. dry erase boards. They're remarkable. <laughs> I almost started laughing. I was like, oh my god, I'm hilarious. Talk about a horse of another color. A zebra fowl. Is that that word? Help. Foal. <laughs> okay. Foal. <laughs> word mark. <laughs> you wanted me to struggle. You wanted me to.